Hi, I'm Rick Kaler. Thanks for joining me. How should you respond to the massive computer hack that exposed the Social Security numbers, names, and contact information for up to 140 million of us? Equifax is one of the largest three American credit reporting agencies in the United States. A lot of conflicting advice is floating around the internet. Here's what I am doing and what I would recommend. First, go to EquifaxSecurity2017.com and enter your last name in the last six digits of your social security number to find out whether you are one of those potentially aff affected by the breach. <laughs> there is a question, however, how accurate this is as one person put their name in as test and their social security is one, two, three, four, five, six and was told they were affected by the breach. Second, consider, and this is also through the EquifaxSecurity2017.com website, enrolling in Equifax free one-year credit monitoring service. And I say consider because sources that I've read disagree on whether the fine print of that offer may waive your right to join a class action lawsuit against the company. As of September 10th, one section on the website reads, quote, in response to consumer inquiries, we have made it clear that the arbitration clause and class action waiver included in the Equifax and Trusted ID Premier terms of use does not apply to this cybersecurity incident, period, end quote. I started the enrollment process myself, which just got me on a waiting list to actually sign up for the free service. I have until November 7th to complete the process. So personally, I'm going to wait to actually sign up until there's more known. Number three, monitor your bank accounts, your credit card statements, and other financial information carefully for the next year. Immediately report any suspicious transactions. You can also put some filters on your credit report that would uh, shut down uh, approving credit for you um, or limit it in many different ways. And uh, so you may want to check those options out too. Four, don't rush out and buy identity theft insurance. The big winners out of this mess is going to be insurance companies that sell identity theft protection as millions are going to take out new policies. I don't plan to sign up for any identity theft insurance as my opinion that its value is limited hasn't changed. Five, if a check of your social security number through Equifax website shows your information has potentially been compromised, which it probably will, you could consider canceling credit cards or closing bank accounts that may not protect you against fraud. However, most major credit cards and financial institutions will cover successful fraudulent attempts to use your account. So I don't see a lot of risk in, in this uh, manner. Number six, and unfortunately one of the best actions to take is one that none of us can easily do. Change our social security numbers. Banks and credit card companies can change account numbers with ease. But the Social Security Administration, they are far less flexible. It is possible to change a Social Security number as a result of identity theft, but your application must include evidence of serious ongoing problems. The uh, SSA publication, which describes this process, also points out that a new number probably won't solve all your problems. This is because other governmental agencies, such as the IRS and state motor vehicle agencies, and private businesses, such as banks and credit reporting companies, will have records under your old number. Seven, consider contacting your senators and representatives to raise the issue of whether the time has come for the government to become more flexible around Social Security numbers. The good news is that there's 143 million of us in this boat, which probably includes our elected officials. 
Well, Equifax has poorly handled this debacle. I mean, it took them a month to disclose it. They're not the only company that's going to suffer serious consequences. I see banks and credit card companies who ultimately pay the tab for identity theft as the biggest losers. One of the significant things about this data breach is that it potentially involves so many people who have followed the recommended strategies to protect against identity theft, such as using strong online passwords and guarding your credit cards and account numbers. Um, you know, I recommend following the Equifax story as it unfolds in, uh, in the media, and we'll hear a lot more about it in, in the coming days and weeks, and, and monitor how it may have an impact uh, on everyone, and from that, how we should all safeguard our data in the future. Thanks for listening.